Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are back in Yarmouth. Uh, we're going to head out of here and go and um, do some tuna fishing. I think we have, um, where are we? Deep line baited with herring. So yeah, we should be able to go and uh, get some tuna. Not sure if I... I think I might have turned off like, the port authority so we don't actually get some... Um, Get caught speeding and that sort of stuff. So if we have a look, um, tuna should be all the way down here. So we need to go and check the, that out. Um, it's a little island up here. All these spots in here. Be good to go and check out some places. Now I don't know if I actually. Oh, there's like a little island here too, which is pretty cool. Don't know if I did anything as far as our sonar goes. Upgraded that or not. I remember 100% if we did or not. This game still looks um, amazing. So I did actually release the premiere of um, episode 1 early because I've seen that a lot of other YouTubers had broke embargo. Um, so I did as well. I probably shouldn't have. But neither should they. So figured instead of being left behind um, I might as well release our, release our videos too and um, hopefully the developers won't be too unhappy because um, we're still you know building building hype around the game and stuff so hopefully they're not going to be too concerned let's come down through here uh, tuna three days ago All right let's get this done something's blocking our way uh, oh, you found the Borg. Right, that's interesting. Is that because we just drove past it, or is that... I don't know. don't think anything sort of came up on the map. Oh, there's a question mark back here. They might have to check out the spot there. See if we can find something. I think there's something in here as well. Um, let's actually come out of here. We'll head towards these little islands. Might take us a little while to get there. Let's um, get rid of all those. Let's travel in a bit closer. There we go. We travel in all the way to there. There we go. You found the Toby. Boat is now available to buy at Dennis. Say Dennis Port, I think it said. Let's travel down to here. There's another one just there, it looks like. Um, Seal Island discovered. Okay, so what can we do here? Travel to here and see. Um. No, we can't really do anything. It's just a fast travel point, I think. That's pretty cool, though. Right, we'll head down to here. Get this stuff in the water and try and... Try and make some money. There's another boat just there. I don't think it really matters. It looks like we can actually find and unlock other boats, which is really cool. Some pollock over there. Some redfish. I think if we right-click it. We can um, get rid of it. We don't really not worried about redfish and pollock and stuff. Um, it's quite dark. See, that's me trying to go backwards. Let's not go backwards. Our work lights, interior lights. Let's get him out and get him to prepare some gear. So, Rudy Smith. Uh, let's look at our sonar there's some tuna straight ahead I think I can so plot a course to here and go toggle autopilot I'm um, not exactly sure Oop, no get rid of that let's go to five this should be able to go if we can go uh, set deep line. 
they should continue to prepare the gear and then we're pretty much just need to wait until we can set it again and have the boat okay, just travel along but we can't actually set it from here do I actually oh there we go I can I don't know if I can actually tell him to set it from in here That would, that's a bit of a bummer. It'd be good to be able to do it from the view inside. Alright, the sonar. Let's have a look at the sonar. Is he still... Oh, there, there he goes. I haven't really seen any tuner on there just yet. Still some ahead. If that's even working correctly. Alright, there you go. He's still preparing some more gear. Once that's full, that should mean he's done. Right, and then we'll have to get him to haul. Once they're ready to go. I don't know if we're quite going fast enough. What are we doing on five? Let's go, so seven. We're probably too far away from where we really need to be. Let's go full speed. So the tuna's actually here. We're a little bit away. Let's hope it's swimming this way. Throw that out again. And once we throw this last one in, we can pretty much just pull up stumps and wait for something to get caught. Go okay, set the deep line. Let's um turn that off now. Uh, if we come into here, info is not the best. But the lady we had before has disappeared for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, Alright, let's save the game. There we go. Take him back inside. Let's shut uh, the boat down. Then we can rest. I only want to rest, you know, like four hours or something. Uh, no new messages, so let's rest. Let two... Another two. Doesn't look like we've caught anything yet. Two hours at a time, still nothing. The clock does actually move too, which is pretty good. Oh, still nothing. I'm hoping we're not too far away. Nope. Oh, there we go. Let's jump back in the seat. Uh, we've got five bites, which is good, so we can turn around. Can we get him out and ready to haul? There we go, he comes out. So the lady that I hired before had a bit of an issue where she didn't actually come out when I was um, practicing in between episodes, so... Not quite sure what was going on there, but... Head towards this boy, I don't want to hit that one because you'll pick it up there'll be nothing in there so we've got s maximum 6,000 kilos it's all on deck of course might start to slow down a little bit hopefully he'll be able to haul it all by himself I'm going to have to worry too much, so the upgraded boys certainly help Probably just a bit better for you know at night time fishing and stuff, which we probably really should have to worry about doing, to be honest. Alright, so does he get it himself? Oh, we've actually got to do it. Alright, there you go. And we, um, so do I need to do this? Yep, there we go. Not sure what he's doing, he's just standing there watching. 
Ooh, that was a good one. Actually got some swordfish on too. So obviously the spot inside the head is what we're aiming for, that little perfect spot. I don't know if you take too long if the fish actually uh, disappears as well. 677.8 kilos. Let's clear this. So it's out of the way. Head straight towards the next boy. So he doesn't actually do anything, which I thought he would, but... Uh, nope. So I thought I wouldn't have actually had to come out and do that myself. I thought he would have done it all for us. We come up beside it and go haul, and then I thought he would have been doing this. Not me, but yeah, it's all right. There's some more tuna. Couple of perfects. Actually, looks a little bit harder than actually fishing Baron C. The way it moves. I don't like this animation though, that looks completely wrong. But uh, it is what it is. Hopefully, they can look at fixing that a little bit. Because it really should be picking it up and dragging it like through the door or something. It'd be too heavy for one person to bring it over the side of the boat, you would think. Right, let's sigh ourselves right down again. There we go. Oof, gets a big wobble going sometimes. I guess, just don't doubt yourself, just when you think it's there, just press it. So like that one then, I didn't think I was going to get perfect, but we still did, so... Can't complain at all. Only 410 kilos that time, but nearly just under 2,000 kilos on the boat. Boy number seven's ready to go, so we can turn back around and go and get that one. Yep, it is now. All right, there we go. Swordfish. See, look, look like that. That just the animation just does not look right at all. That should really, they should be dragging it in. Like, there should be like a gate here or something. Oh, it was only a good one, but I don't know if that makes a difference on the size. I'm not used to it. Obviously, Baron C, so probably be the same. So we've got a bite on line seven. So what do we got now? Two and a half thousand. This is our fifth line we're picking up. So, see how we go with filling the boat. If we can actually fill it up or not, probably go pretty close. These boys look crazy, don't they? I'm trying to get a decent screenshot here. Right there we go. Uh, Let's get this one. I'm pretty sure you can actually miss it as well. When I was practicing earlier, like I hit this thing instead of the fish, and um, it completely missed it. So then obviously the fish got away. Don't want to be doing that too often. Right, there we go. Let's turn around and head towards the other one. That was nearly 900 kilos that time. It's really good. So we can't get him to prepare gear because we don't have any um, any more baits. It'd be good to have extra bait, like on the boat. Where's our actual line? Straight ahead here, I think. Um, what I pilot off? Speed. Decrease. That's autopilot. On and off. That's pretty cool. Alright, um, we don't need those on anymore. So fresh fish, 
3,321. Got 2.7 kilos remaining. Still got three lines in the ground. In the ground. In the water, even. We have a look. Um, so our messages and stuff are all here. I wish they would actually um, like go away. Sales, yep, gear. When we press um, dismiss down the bottom left here, they should actually go away. But ah, uh, well, doesn't matter. So Friday, August the seventh, nearly six p.m. I don't know if we did put the big one on the top. I think we might have. So we probably could have harpooned for a little bit longer, but I like the idea of doing this as well. I just don't think the animation's quite right. We don't need to haul that one because it's got nothing on it. Uh, deep one bite, yes, we know that. We're going to get them now. That one still hasn't got a bite yet, though. There's no other fish out here. A fish. No other boats out here, I should say. Which is interesting. I'm not sure exactly what else is out as far as what season it may be. Is it just tuna and swordfish season, or is it Redfish season, pollock season, something like that. Ooh, that was only just okay. Nearly missed it. That was it good? It's not going to give us much weight. There was only two fish on that one, I think. Yep, 505 kilos. Right, so tomorrow... Actually. Oh yeah, because it gives us the days. So tomorrow is 21 degrees. What, so today is 21 degrees. Tomorrow will be 22 on Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Sunny, even. Oh, my English is great today. That's better. We've got three, we've got three on the line, which is going to help. No, is it just two? It's just two on the line. So not the best haul as far as filling... Oh, that's a terrible haul. As far as filling the boat goes, but... Turn around. Uh, go back in here. I know he's still standing at the back, but we'll skip forward two hours. Uh, he's good to go. How is he as far as his stamina? I can't actually see. Oh, he's still idling, but he's got plenty of stamina there. Let's, um... Throw these lights on, the search light. WASD, that's pretty good. Turn that off. Get this last one. We're still gonna not have a full boat, but it's still going to be a decent haul. Alright, let's get this on. You can actually click it before it hits the top, which is good as well. Perfect. Alright, now we can send him back below to go and rest. Um, if that's what he wants to do, maybe not. And then I think we'll head back back to town. So what do we have up here? Is that undiscovered location? There's one here and one here. Um, let's head to this one. Why not? Well, there we go. Let's keep an eye on our boat, see if anything sort of pops up randomly. 
I've only got $331 left in the bank. So we need to get out there and do a heap more fishing so we can actually bring some more money in and... What's that boat doing? Uh, bring some more money in and obviously upgrade our boat. Buy a newer boat, a bigger boat if needed. Alright, the lock port discovered. Okay, let's watch out for... Um, oh, let's run straight into the North Star. Sorry. But, um, that wasn't my fault, I don't think. So we still... I hope he's not um, broke again. Hope not, they did do an update again today, so I don't know if they've fixed the issue or they're still working on it. I'd like to sell your fish at Lockport. $208,000 worth. So $48. Tall fish usually sells for $25 a kilo, that's great. Tuna usually sells for $20 a kilo. We'll definitely sell that. That's um, that's great. Uh, fish markets. Fish prices. I oh, know tuna and swordfish is a higher price there at the moment. Maybe they're just not getting any. Um, fishing gear. I think. Can't. We only need eight. Uh, town. We'll go to the bar. Pollock, redfish, silver harky. We don't need either of those. Um, crew. There's a few other different guys to hire, which I don't really need to worry about. Services is just insurance and stuff, so we don't want that either. Let's go and have a look at um, the shipyard. What's available here? We've got the Ocean Runner. Okay, so Ocean Runner is a big line and net boat. It can also be rigged for deep line and lobster fishing. Um, additional crew maximum is four. 5,000 hooks with 40 long lines, uh, 40 nets, 165 meters, or 40 lobster lobster pots, crab pots. Interesting. Only the one boat there, but um, storage. We've already upgraded that. Engines done. Get the radar was done, which is good. Fish sonar was done. I think everything's done. Maybe not the searchlight. Intensity is all the same, but it's just a lot longer. But I'm not going to waste our money on that, I don't think. Uh, rigging, we don't really want to change to either of those at the moment. Let's um, purchase some fuel or we'll repair. Uh, we we'll might as well go with um, baiting our deep lines. Squid, no, we want to go with herring, don't we? Herring, and we'll go bait all of them with the same thing. Deep fishing, yep, okay, cool, let's go out of here, let's go with a quick save, just in case. Alright, let's head out of uh, Lockport. He's still in the back though, which isn't ideal. So you guys need to let me know if you think we should um, travel by ourselves a lot more. Um, should I do a lot more of driving by ourselves and not fast travelling, or you prefer me to fast travel? You guys let me know. But um, what we might do here, guys, I might end the episode here. I'll bring you guys back next episode when we're going to set some more lines and um, hopefully catch some more tuna fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. If you want to see it continue, any ideas, suggestions, etc. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.